Charges set in 10 minutes. Go. from the same place, so you can understand everything I'm saying. In a future language it is. May a curse come upon the land of which you came from. I could say the same about yours, but that would be quite nice. Anyhow, you know what I'm here for, don't you? To kill me, I assume. America and the world police sent an agent Jackson to do its dirty work. we we'll call it cleaning up, more or less. Kill me and you bring a fire upon your doorstep. How's this for fire? Yeah.
And we'll be hearing from Todd shortly on what to expect this weekend. Thanks, Todd. Our top story this morning comes from breaking news last night. Authorities confirm the death of the second most wanted man in the world. Government officials claim the confirmation was given last night around midnight that Anwar Akbar from the Al-Qaeda terrorist group was shot and killed. The person behind the gun confidentially remains unnamed, but President Obama praised the agent's efforts. He also claimed this is only the beginning to creating global peace in our planet. There's been much speculation around the death of a top CIA agent last month in Pakistan. The Central Intelligence Agency released a statement saying the agent will, quote, be greatly missed. Our thoughts and prayers are with the agent's family and loved ones. Replacing one of our best operatives will be no simple feat. However, this person most certainly died in honor. The hands that caused this death will receive what is due to them, end quote. Now in local news, one man claims the best... Alright, so the guy bends down to like tie his shoe or something like that, right? And then all of a sudden, like, BAM! A freaking zombie comes like reaching through the porch railing, right? And so it's another like coming through the side, and his other friend is like, jump man, jump! And like the dude barely gets away, I swear. It's one of my favorite parts. How do you watch that stuff? Because it's so intense, you need to start watching it. It ain't even real. It could happen. If it did, you'd be the first to die. <laughs> It's cold. I thought we was partners in now. Exactly. I'd use you as bait. <laughs> but you know what? Okay, speaking of bait, how's that fine woman you caught last month doing? Not much of a catch. I, I don't have time for her. Uh, what was her name again? Um, her name was Tiffany. If you find her so attractive, why don't you ask her on a date? I mean, I could, but see, like, I got this whole waiting list, and she would have to get at the end, and I mean, it'll be months before we even got to see each other. I'm sure. But wait a minute, you've been seeing what, Agent Jones for a minute? That was only a date. Look, either way it go, at some point you gotta know when to call it quits. You know, settle down, find you a wife, and like after what you did last night, you can retire like today. Nothing. Nothing? My man, you took down number two. Number two. And not to mention all your crazy acrobatic stuff she was doing last night, you left me in the dust. Sorry about that. I mean, I'm thinking to myself, this brother could have been the NBA, the NFL, or something like that. You know, if you'd work out one, maybe that wouldn't be a problem. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. I think this was a good workout, though. Good job. All right, so anyway, James Washington, the top dog, dead and gone. It took him way longer than you to accomplish something like that. Me and you, we are second class. We were only one mission away from being first class. Things are different now. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. We all know you have a partner like me. Or the technology. Oh, uh, well, you know, that too, I guess. Mm. Anyway, how are you doing today? You haven't set up a lot. I'm doing good. I am doing good. You think they have something new for us to do today? I'm sure we'll find out. Nice job, Jackson. Thanks, Benson. Yes, let me know if you need some help with that report. Okay, thanks. Hey, how you doing, Ms. Fields? Yeah, thank you. Congratulations, Agent. Thank you. Thank you. Well, looks like we ain't got nothing new at the moment. No new updates, no new anything. Just a big stack of ugly papers to file. It'll be all right. It's good for you. No, this is good for the shredder. That's what that's good for. Ladies and gentlemen, on the 5th of February 2010, our enemies sent us a message. They said that America will fall, America will fail, that 9-11 was only the beginning. They said that we will lose the freedoms that we have left, and that they will not rest, and they will not stop until we fall. Situations like that are why I often quote Sir Edmund Burke when he said, 
that all that is needed for the triumph of evil is for a few good men to do nothing. But evil did fail. Evil did fall. Anwar Akbar and his men died quickly and violently. By the way, for those of you that aspire to be in the field, you might want to emulate the examples of Agents Jackson and Best. You played his ego like a fiddle, and you extracted valuable intelligence right until the end. We stand strong and unshaken. We, the few good men, do something every day, and you do it very well. Jackson and Best, keep up the good work. Attention everyone, direct rule brief in three minutes. Tell me what Akbar said before you know you killed him. He didn't really say anything. Anything? What do you mean he didn't say anything? It's hard to speak when you don't have a brain to use. Whoa, that's kind of cold. No, but for real, he mentioned something that his death is going to bring a fire to the United States. A fire? Wait, are we going to get to have marshmallows? Hilarious. Uh, you know I'm just playing. You know I like the pasta. Yeah, I know. Hey, do you think you could manage for once to keep your mouth shut during this briefing? Where are you? Congratulations on your mission, Dominique. Alicia? I don't know. We're going to have to see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is time-sensitive information. A little while ago, one of our staff officers at the embassy in Beijing received fresh intelligence from a source in western China. The intelligence is about a group called Xinjiang named after the province where it was founded. That's in the western part of China and the border country with Pakistan. We believe that this information is at least 80% reliable from a source that is 100% loyal. It was founded in western China in the Xinjiang province. This mission is so important that we're going to break a rule that has been in place since 1952. In your training, you may remember Agents Dorney and Facto. They were taken prisoner in China and held for more than 20 years. I have briefed the President and the Joint Intelligence Committee that this is that important that we must break that rule in order to stop this group. The group was founded by Mao Tsin Chai. He built the group from the ground up. He is our primary target. Kill him even if no one else. They're responsible for these bombings over the period of the last 10 plus years. Bali, Indonesia, Istanbul, London, Denmark, and they're targeting us. We have less than 24 hours to complete this mission. Ms. Fields, NSA tasking. Get Admiral Hayes on the phone, tell him I owe him a bottle of scotch. Now, we must stop them. We must stop them there before they get here, or the Marines will be fighting them on the streets of D.C. Does everyone understand this? Any questions? Everyone except Agent Jackson, dismissed. The Air Force will have you wheels up in two hours. Alone? Alone. You know what to do.
Sir. We are now hours away, yet your putrid screams sound of chaos and confusion. You bark like dogs and babble like fools, and you call yourselves militia, keeper of balance in the world. It's foolery. We are ready, sir, but a few of us now question the stability of the attack. And who might those be? Who? Who among you is such a fool as to doubt me? You have a plan of such greatness and magnitude. Make yourselves known to us. I am one in doubt. Because your plan is one of holes and treachery. Here we go. Go. Would anyone else care to leave as Mr. Tanaka has? Very well. In 20 hours, we commence. I'm sure there are questions among you. Now is not the time for your silence and your stupidity. We must question the plan of things. We. Do not question you. Then what other do you question? We have knowledge the Americans know when we're coming. They know when we're going to attack. Not to mention they're sending someone to kill us. And the way of attack. The Americans have already experienced bombings. What would be the best way to go about this? They will destroy their cells economically. Why attack their numbers? Their currency? Why send a plague or, or a sickness without leaders? Who is there to guide them? Without leadership, they will destroy themselves. Everything of importance and significance in their capital will be turned to dust. As far as their knowledge of our arrival, we will make them think we have come early. Surprise, if you will. As for the agent, he will die. And sir, our component on the inside, at moments we've all questioned her reliability. A man who plays the game of chess with wisdom, strategy, moves each piece with such clear accuracy. Knows the game. I know what I am doing. A queen is nearly a place for checkmate. America will fall. So I'm sitting there, and my dad walks in. And I've been waiting up for him all night, and he he's a mess. He's a wreck. His hair's everywhere. He's got blood on his clothes. I think they're a little bit ripped. He may have been drunk. I don't know. At least he looked like it. And I was so excited that he was there. And he was like, hey, Dom, what are you doing up, buddy? And I was like, hey, he's waiting up on you. And 
asked him how was work, and he said it was killer. And that's when I knew. So enough about me. What about you? Okay, well, let's see here. Um, there were a lot of reasons why I wanted to get on with the agency. I guess part of it would be the fact that my father was associated with it often. What field was he in? Well, let me go back a little. I was an orphan as a young child. I never knew my real parents, and my soon-to-be parents were from out of the country. That they just moved here because my father had been hired by the science division of the government. Her fathers worked together. I wouldn't think so. My father mainly worked on his own. What about your mother? I assume you were like her. Uh, not really. I'm more like my father. You know, he taught me about everything that I know. I bet your real mother was pretty beautiful. Either way, let's get out of here. That sounds marvelous. Sir, um, may I ask you a question? Make it quick. All right, well, um, you sent Jackson out on the new target mission by himself. Yes. Um, we're partners. I was wondering why you did Don't that. worry, Agent Best. He can handle it on his own. But if he needs help, you'll be the first to go. Thank you, sir. It'll work. They'll get him. All right, bring up Mao's bio and everything you have on him. All right, sir, we know that along with Mao, there are four other members that are labeled as members of the militia. Okay, thank you. Ms. Blair? Yes, sir, the only thing that was truly a concern was the fifth member of the militia. That is, of course, not counting Mao. Fifth member? Who is this fifth member? We don't know, sir. This is the only member we don't have a shred of information on. The other four members, it was easy to find their information, but he's the only one we know absolutely nothing about. Nothing? This is a Central Intelligence Agency. We know nothing about her? No, sir. Keep digging. I want to know everything about this fifth member before dawn. sure if I will. I have some things I need to do. All sorts of things. Girl stuff. We be waking early for that? No. I'd rather stay warm in a bed for a bit. Good. I think I might as well. Right. 
Ah, ça a l'eau,